Here we go. Hey, that's your mate. He's not my mate. He doesn't want to talk to you, and I don't want you to talk to him. Get out of here. You can't talk to him. How many times do I have to tell you? Just go away. How many times do I have to tell you? You're right. What was all that about? Nothing, Joe. We were just hanging out, having fun. We've had a report of some underage kids drinking. Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No way. No. No. What about these? They're not ours. What was all that about? What was what all about? You just pushed her over. So it was an accident. Well, you tend to have accidents when you've been drinking. We couldn't have been. We're underage. One of you isn't. Uh, I'll handle that. You want to get their names? Archie, I hope these kids aren't drinking alcohol you got for them. No way, Joe. I, I wouldn't do that. I don't want any more trouble. Chris gave you that job as a big favour to me. Yours? I'd hate to think you'd let me down. I didn't, honest. We're just mucking around. Brennan. I don't know where those kids came from. Alright. How old are you? I'll be over here. Right over here, Got their names? Yep. What did your mate have to say for himself? He didn't give them the grog. And you believe him? What are we supposed to do? Run them all in? Well, we should at least ring their parents. Just let them go. They're just kids mucking around. Bye, Joe. Thanks. You better hope this doesn't come back and bite you on the bum. Well, if it does, you can blame it all on me. No, no, don't worry, I will. What is it about big puppy dog eyes that makes your brain not work properly? Look, I'll log all the names on the running sheet, call it even, okay? Yeah. How'd you go with your underage drinkers? Joe? We uh, took down their names and sent them on their way, Sarge. We didn't see any concrete proof that they were drinking. They weren't very forthcoming with information. Might be worth doing the rounds at the bottle shops and pubs again. Gently remind them they're supposed to ask for ID. Speaking of pubs, anyone up for a uh, drink? I'm stuck here for a few more hours, but I know you won't let that stop you. If I'm not mistaken, Joe, it's your first round tonight. Another? Uh, no, early start in the morning. Better get upstairs. I should no, be I... buying you a drink for... Um... Oh, it's working out well, is it, Chris? Hardest worker I've ever had. Well, that is good to hear. Hmm? Well, you're a regular little miracle worker, aren't you, Joe? I certainly am. Look, everyone needs someone to believe in. Archie had a rough time when his mum died, mm -hmm. having to fend for himself. Yeah, yeah well, that was tough. fair. Melanie Harper's gone missing. She's one of the kids we interviewed this afternoon in the park. Yeah, he said you were talking to her about underage drinking, so he's ringing around the pubs trying to find her, but she's certainly not here. Oh, I, I hope she turns up. Sorry I'm late. I didn't sleep very well last night. You look exhausted. I just had a few things on my mind. So, Ben, did that Melanie Harper turn up last night? No, no, she didn't. Uh, her brother and his wife are in the boss's office now. They're pretty worried about her. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I knew something was wrong when I didn't hear cartoons blaring this morning. How long has she been living with you? Melanie's been with us since our parents died. There's a plane crash outside of Wangaratta and they're on the way back from the cattle sale. Ah, right. They had a place out on the Ballarat Road, didn't they? Mm, that's right. Melanie wanted to stay there, but out of the question. And then the bank foreclosed. Yeah, well, we've already got a child of our own, but we took her in anyway, you know. You think she'd be grateful. She's a good kid. She's never done anything like this before. So the last time you saw her was... Yesterday morning before school. Yeah, well, she wanted money for her lunch. I wasn't going to give her any, so we had a fight. Did she attend school yesterday? No. no as I said, Stella was the last person to see her. Um, actually, that's not true. I saw her yesterday afternoon at the park. Was she all right? Fine, as far as I could tell. There was a report of some kids drinking in the park yesterday. Constable Parrish attended. Why didn't you bring her home? Well, she wasn't coming to any harm. No harm? You said she was drinking. Well, there wasn't any evidence. Please rest assured that we'll do everything we can to find her, Mr Harper. Uh, why don't you two go home? Uh, she might even be there or be trying to contact you. Just try not to worry too much. Okay. Parrish. Just how drunk was Melanie Harper when you saw her in the park yesterday? She was perfectly coherent, I boss. didn't ask whether she was coherent. I asked if she'd been drinking. Well, if she had 
been drinking. It wasn't very much. As I said, there was no evidence. You don't think they might have tried to hide the evidence, seeing you were police? I don't know. I don't what think What about so. the others? Could you smell alcohol on their breath? Well, I didn't actually get close enough to the others to... What about you, Lawson? They'd been drinking. I thought we were doing the right thing, boss. Well, for God's sake, do the right thing now. Go and talk to those other kids. Let's hope they can tell us where Melanie Harper might be. Oh, well, well, the gang's all here. What do you want this time? You were at the park yesterday with Melanie Harper. She was reported missing last night. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> and her family are quite worried something might have happened to her. Well, I think you might be able to tell us where she is. Any ideas where she might be? Sorry. What did you fight about yesterday? I told you. Oh, that's right. It was an accident. Yeah. Well, accident or not, technically that's an assault. So you can either cooperate with us here or you can come down to the station and be charged. Your choice. So what was a fight about? She's just a loser and she's always hanging around. All I did was make it clear that we didn't want her company. Did you see her after that? No, me and the boys went down the games arcade, hung around there for a bit. Then what? Back to my place, listened to some music, Mum threw them out at 11. And we can check on all this. Oh, I don't care. How much have you been drinking at this stage? I told you yesterday. We don't drink alcohol, officer. We're only 17. They're friends that hate to see your enemies. You don't think they actually do anything to her, do you? Well, I don't think it's them we should be blaming. I didn't make her disappear, Jack. What? No, all I'm saying is that we should do more to find her. That's the point. But like what? Well, if they were drinking, they would have gone somewhere else to finish it off. If they were drinking, where would they go apart from the park? I don't know. Maybe the old riverbank. Whatever. I don't know. It's worth a look. Ah, oh, looks like I was right. No one comes down here. Now let's get out of here. What are you doing? She's not here. Let's at least look properly. Do you go that way? Well, she's probably in Melbourne by now, sitting at the first cafe latte in Ligon Street. Just keep looking. Sure. Melanie! Jack? She's alive. I'm very drunk. You don't think she would have drunk all of that, do you? Well, by the look of her, yeah. You better call an ambulance. Melanie? Mount Thomas Melanie. 309 to VK Sur. Melanie, wake up. Melanie, wake up. Melanie, up. Melanie, Melanie, wake up. Well, she's asleep now. So she's going to be OK. No, thanks to you. I never wanted any harm to come to your sister, Miss She's Harper. a 17-year-old girl. Where the hell did she get hold of a whole bottle of vodka? Well, most 17-year-olds don't have much trouble getting hold of alcohol. Probably an older friend, perhaps. It, it could have come from anywhere. It, your home, even. I can't afford to buy vodka, Constable. Excuse me, I've got to go to work. Determined to make Archie the bad guy, aren't you? Well, she's lucky enough to have serious damage, Joe. It doesn't mean it was him. I've got to ask a question, though. <clears throat> Melanie. Has Rick gone? Yeah. Yeah, how are you feeling? Pretty crappy. My own stupid fault. Hopefully they'll get you back to normal pretty quickly. We uh, just have to ask you, Melanie. Where did you get the vodka from? It was Archie. Archie Waters gave you the bottle of vodka? Not exactly. It was Tanya's. But that's where she would have got it from. Where did you get it from, though? Tanya had it when she was yelling at me. She put it down just before she pushed me. And do you know for certain it came from Archie Waters? No. Right. But it must have. He's the only guy Vince knows who's old enough to buy booze. What would she know? She's just a kid, she's drunk, and she's not even part of their gang, so she's guessing. We can't withhold evidence. Chris will have to give him the sack if there's even a hint he's been supplying kids. Archie can't afford to lose that job. 
He's a good kid. Who you found stealing groceries from the supermarket? He didn't have any money and he put them back. He just wasn't used to having to fend for himself. How old is Archie? Well, 24. But he's like a kid, you know, simple. No way, Joe. I never bought grog for those kids. Scouts on her. Well, if you tell me that, I believe you. You and Mrs. Riley being too nice to me. I wouldn't do that. Good, because it's really dangerous, Arch. Some kids can't handle alcohol. Like this Melanie girl. Now, she drank nearly a whole bottle of vodka. Yeah? It's not clever, Arch. She's in hospital now. Alcohol's a poison. You drink enough of it, it'll kill you. That's why there's a law against selling it to anyone under 18. I didn't sell them anything. Well, I'm glad. Because you wouldn't want a kid like Melanie on your conscience, would you? I still think we should get him in here for an interview. He swears he didn't do it. I thought everyone would be clamouring for their lunches by now. What's yes. going on? Well, you can eat yours in the car. Melanie Harper's just disappeared from hospital. We need to contact anybody who might know where she is. I wouldn't have a clue. You need to understand how important this is, Tanya. She hasn't completed the treatment they prescribed and she n might not be thinking straight. So? So she could be in a lot of danger. We just need your help to find her. I told you before, I hardly know her. Well, you knew her well enough to yell at her and push her on the ground. You were happy to humiliate her in front of all your friends. Well, I haven't seen her since then. When you told us we could go, we just left her. So you are really mean to her and then she disappeared. You don't think those two things might be linked? All I did was tell her to get lost. Why didn't you want her around? She's a total loser. She keeps hanging around Vince. Ah, uh -huh. Vince. Suddenly your argument makes a lot more sense. Well, she's obsessed. Everyone knows we're an item, but she keeps saying that she has to talk to him. She just won't give up. Got pretty boring after a while. Well, what does she want to talk to Vince about? I don't know. She's pathetic. <laughs> she's got to have something important in her stupid life, so she picked him. Vince has never even said two words to her. It's way out of her league. Unfortunately, we move in different circles. According to your girlfriend, Melanie was pretty keen to move into your circle. Sounded like she was pretty persistent, too. A lot of girls want to talk to me, but uh, I'm going out with Tanya. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tanya, you're uh, your bodyguard. So you've got no idea what Melanie wanted to talk to you about? Look, she's crazy, OK? I never had anything to do with her. In fact, I wouldn't even touch her with a 40-foot pole. What about one a bit shorter? You know what I mean. She wasn't one of us. That guy is a total weasel. Thank you for that wonderful piece of insight, Parrish. Did the total weasel give you any idea where Melanie Harper might have gone? No, not a clue. Should we call out our wing, get as many extra members as we can to start scouring the area? Well, if she left the hospital still needing treatment, she could be in a bad way. It might be worse than you think. Come on, come on, that's a big call, Joe. Well, not such a big call. All the signs are there. Would you two mind sharing? <laughs> Joe reckons she knows what's up with Melanie. Tanya kept saying Melanie was obsessed with Vince, always hanging around needing to talk to him. Yeah, but I put that down to jealousy. Yeah, but Vince also reacted pretty strangely when I asked why Melanie needed to talk to him. He said he wouldn't touch her with a 40-foot pole. He's probably just upholding his macho image. No, he knows exactly why Melanie needs to speak to him. Because at one time or another, her persistence got the better of him. Melanie's pregnant, I reckon, to Vince. We were wondering if either of you had noticed any mood swings with Melanie recently. Well, I mean, she's just a kid. And it's only been ten months since she lost both of her parents and had her whole life uprooted. I mean, I... I was thinking of the more recent past. Have either of you noticed any changes, physical, emotional? What, she's got herself pregnant? That's what you're saying, isn't it? Oh, well, it just gets better and better. What do you think, Mr Harper? Is that a possibility? No. No, I, I, I would have thought she would know better than... What, then to follow our example and ruin the rest of her life? Stella got pregnant at around Melanie's age. She knows the pitfalls. Yeah, thanks for that, Rick. I just don't understand why she would have just run away like this. Why wouldn't she have talked to us about it? Perhaps she was afraid of the sort of reaction she might get. 
Well, there is no actual evidence that she's pregnant. Yeah, but judging by their reaction, it's a definite possibility. And if you were her, would you want to go home and face them with that news? It might also explain why she drank so much alcohol. Or was she trying to kill herself or the baby? Exactly. Either way, she's pretty desperate by now. We've looked everywhere we can think a 17-year-old girl might hide out. There's no sign of her anywhere, boss. And what about friends? Well, from what we've heard, she hasn't got any. No, she wouldn't be with Vince and Tanya, but th there might be somebody else at the school, maybe. What about Archie? What about him? Well, yesterday he seemed pretty friendly towards her. I mean, his place could be the perfect place for her to lie low for a couple of days. All right, go and take a look. Melanie's disappeared from the hospital. You know anything about that? You just told me. How well do you know Melanie Archie? She's just one of the gang, you know? The, the gang, right? Which gang would this be? She's one of Vince's friends. Right. How well does she know him? They go to school together. And uh, you're pretty good mates with Vince? He's my best friend. Yeah, you'd do anything for Vince, wouldn't you? Sure. Do you mind if we come in and have a look around? Uh, don't worry, Archie. We won't be a moment. OK. He admitted they were his. He's an adult. He's entitled to buy booze. And you got Archie's. Uh, Melanie wasn't there and there was no sign of her having been there either. But we found two bottles of bourbon and a bottle of vodka. Yes, belonging to Archie. And? And it was the same brand of vodka that Melanie had. You think Archie's been supplying the kids? Melanie said that he was the source. Yeah, yep. but she was only guessing. Well, hang on, what Melanie told you this this morning at the hospital? I didn't think it was relevant. To a good copper, everything is relevant. I didn't think it was worth mentioning because I had already spoken to Archie and he said he didn't Look, do I know it. you've gone out of your way to help Archie, but if he's really supplying alcohol to minors... Just because we found three bottles on his premises doesn't mean anything. It's not a crime for him to possess alcohol. Nearly $100 worth of grog for a bloke who two weeks ago was stealing food. A bloke who is now working at the Imperial with access to any amount of alcohol. You think he's stolen it from Chris? It's definitely worth checking out. Boss, what about Melanie? For the time being, we've done all we can. Go and talk to Chris. I mean, I'd be very surprised if he is stealing. He's a great kid. So people keep telling me. Well, the lift does stop one floor short of the top. That is very willing and very cute. Snappage. Well, who else has access to the cellar, Chris? Just me and Archie. Sam hardly ever goes down there. Look, they've been uh, opened up, then glued back together probably heaps of times. Little bastards. Well, I don't think Archie... So, it's the same brand. How can he do this? Archie. I think you better come with us. No. I never sold grog to anyone. But you did steal it from the Imperial. I was going to put it back. Honest, uh, next pay I was going to buy some bottles and put them back. If you didn't sell it, Archie, why did you steal it? For my friends. So I could offer them a drink. When they came to visit? Yeah. They used to like beer, but that Tanya, she wanted spirits. That's a lot of money. Is that what you spent your doll money on? Yeah. The new job's great and everything, but part of my pay's in food, so I didn't have enough cash to buy what they wanted, you know? You realise that quite apart from stealing from her, you've put Chris Riley in a very awkward position. She could lose her licence from this. I didn't mean to. Just like you didn't mean for anything to happen to Melanie. What do you know about her disappearance, Archie? Nothing. How well do you know her? Hardly at all. She's just a kid. And when was the last time you saw her? Um... Yesterday in the park with you. You sure about that? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? He's got motive. I'd, I'd like to hear this. Well, he swore to you that he didn't supply those kids with alcohol. Melanie knew the truth and he panics and he gets rid of her. You've got to be kidding. Is he really that dumb? 
<laughs> what about the study pulled with the vodka at the pub? But this theory only works if Archie knew that Melanie had pointed the finger at him. But he didn't, did he? No. Well, he did, I told him. But he wouldn't hurt her. Sergeant, get a warrant. Yeah. Yours, Archie? Guys don't wear those, they're for girls. Melanie was wearing that when we found her at the river this morning. Who does this belong to, Archie? I don't know. Well, you said it belongs to a girl. Which girl? I don't know. Who do you know who wears these types of things, Arch? Uh, no one. No one at all. Lots of people. Well, I've seen Melanie Harper wearing something identical to this. Would you agree with that? Well, I guess. So you can understand why we might think she's been around at your house. Right. We'll set it down to forensics. They can tell us who it belongs to. Look, mate, why don't you just tell us the truth? We're going to find out one way or another. It's not Melanie's. It can't be. Why not? I told you because she's never been to my place. Are you sure about that? Yes, I told you. But I, do you realise how anything. serious it is to lie to the police? I'm right? not lying. I'm not. I want to go home. Well, the guy's obviously lying, but we can't budge him. When can forensics give us an ID? Well, we're hoping there's enough hair on the scrunchie to identify positively, but we're looking at tomorrow at the earliest, maybe longer. The poor guy is scared out of his wits. Hey, Joe, oh, come on. look, he would say anything not to get in more trouble. He was honest about stealing the booze, and look where that got him. He's been charged with theft, sacked from his job. That's hardly surprising. Yeah, and then we'd tear his place apart and drag him back here to grill him. Hey, we do not grill people. Yeah, well... Parrish, that's enough. Now, I know you feel protective of Archie, but the fact remains, a young girl is still missing. And there's evidence that she may have been in Archie's house? Circumstantial evidence. Any one of a hundred girls could have a scrunchie like that. And even if it is hers, there's nothing to say it was left there today. Even though we saw her wearing one exactly the same this she morning. She could have more than one, Jack. Come girls on. lose things like that all the time, and it's not as if they cost a fortune. She's right. Thank you, PJ. We've got nothing to hold this bloke. He's our best suspect. What, we're just going to let him go? He could have abducted this girl, or worse. Which is why we'll be keeping an eye on him. No, you're taking a big risk if you let him go, PJ. Sounds like you're volunteering to make sure nothing happens. Sure, OK, fine. But I'll need someone to keep me company just in case anything does happen. Joe, you can keep him company. Fine. Just don't expect me to talk to you. <laughs> well, I wonder what's in this one. Oh, it's chicken noodle, if I'm not mistaken. Do you want some? Joe, here, get a whiff of that. Go on, get your nose in there, have a smell. You want some? No, OK. All the more for me. Chris, you are a legend. Bastard. Aha, so you are talking to me? No. No? I thought friends backed each other up, Jack. Yeah, they do back each other up, Joe, but they also call each other when they're out of line. Your theories on Archie are way out of line. You've got him pegged to some sort of maniac. I'm just calling it like I see it, Joe. You're letting your feelings cloud your judgment. Now, Joe, if you... Shut up. What's Vince doing here? He arrived at 9.05 p.m., left again at 9.26 p.m. That was his only visitor? Yep. That was it. We went off duty at about midnight, as per the sergeant's instructions. But his lights had been out for a good hour and a half by then. So he went straight home and stayed there? Yeah, so there goes the theory that he's holding Melly hostage in a drain pipe or something. You sure you can rule him out that easily? Maybe he was just playing it clever. Have you met Archie? G'day, Archie. What can we do for you? I'd like to make a statement about Melanie Harper. After you told me about Melanie, I felt bad. So I went to the hospital to see if she was OK. She was just leaving. Where was she when you last saw her? She was in the corridor. She still didn't look great, and she was carrying her bags. So I offered her a lift. And took her back to your place? No. She said she wanted to go to Melbourne. So I dropped her off at the bus station, 
And that's the last time I saw her. Constable, can you check with the bus station again? Yes, Sergeant. For the tape, Constable Lawson leaving to make further inquiries. Do you have a car, Archie? Sometimes I use Mum's old one. But I'm trying to sell it, so I don't use it much. Archie, why didn't you tell us this yesterday? I guess I wasn't thinking straight. All right. Okay, now that you're thinking straighter, maybe you can give us some explanation as to the scrunchie we found at your base yesterday. It might have been Melanie's. Go on. She might have come to one of my famous parties. She might have? You don't remember? <laughs> no, lots of people come to my parties. They're famous. Of course they are. <laughs> I and our friend, please, Senior. No worries. Archie's been coached. Absolutely. There's no way that Melanie was on the Melbourne bus yesterday. They just checked their paperwork and they spoke to the driver. Any other bus? No other bus or train. Vince is obviously the one who's been doing the coaching. But he's the one who wants us looking in the wrong place because he's the one who's done something with Melanie. What's his motive? Well, she's pregnant, so he's done something with her and he wants to cover his tracks. Archie's the perfect fall guy. But Archie's got a better motive, one we don't have to pull out of thin air. Do you really think Archie is a murderer now? Well, he's got a job at the Imperial. Uh, he gets free alcohol, he seems pretty cool to his mates, and uh, he's afraid of losing all that. So Melanie was the one person who could do it, so yeah. People have murdered for less. If he has done something with her, he would have had to have used transport. I reckon we should have a look at this car of his. What car? Well, don't play dumb, mate. Your mother's car, the one you picked up Melanie in. Oh, uh, no, you can't. Why not? It's been stolen. No, yeah. What was this? Last night? All right, we got any reports of stolen cars last night, senior? No, Detective Hashem, there's been no cars reported stolen in the last 24 hours. Archie, why didn't you tell us the car was stolen? I... I forgot. A Datsun 121 mustard yellow, it's still registered to a Mrs Jill Waters. That was his mum. All right, let's start looking. Yeah, what about Vince? Uh, what about Vincent? Well, you saw him at Archie's place last night. He's obviously the one who's given him the whole story. Probably pop quizzed him on it till he got it right. But then he knows more than he's telling us. Exactly. So don't you think we should talk to the mastermind of the plan? Good call, Sergeant. All right, Jake and I will search for the missing car. You take Joe and have a chat with young master Vincent. Mm, test that Joe's theory. Mm -hmm. What's going on with you and Joe? Uh, she just wants to blame me for her bad choices, that's all. Well, the problem might be admitting you were right and she was wrong. You did the right thing by bringing Archie to our attention. Well done. Ah, there's a good lad. Helping his mum hang out at the washing. What do you want? Vincent Brendel, I'm Senior Detective Hashim. You already know Constable Parrish. What's going on? I'm well, hoping you could help us out, uh, Vince. You don't mind if I call you Vince, though, do you? I haven't done anything. Isn't it funny, Constable, whenever anyone has a guilty conscience, they always say they haven't done anything. I don't have a guilty conscience. You must be thinking of somebody else. Did you say Melanie Harper? I mean, I can understand if you feel guilty about that. But you got her pregnant, didn't you? No. You've got it all wrong. Yeah, why don't you clear it up for us, Vince? Archie picked her up from the hospital yesterday. Mm, told us his version. Took her to the bus station in a car which has since been stolen. That's right. Oh, he told you that, did he? That the car had been stolen last night? When you went to visit him at 9.05pm, maybe? Yeah. He called me up. He asked me to come over. He said his car had broken down and he didn't know what to do. We agreed to say it had been stolen, so he'd get the money from the insurance company he wouldn't have to pay for it to get fixed. Did he tell you where the car had broken down? Yeah, on the river, just near the old crossing. There it is. Stopping wet. Someone's been trying to wash it. Have you got a hanky? What is it? Wine. Doesn't smell like it. Blood.
Okay, Archie. We've got some good news. Yeah? We found your car. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Down by the river. Yeah. Where you left it. Uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't... We've already had a chat to your mate Vince. He's told us all about the insurance scam. Huh? Your car had broken down. You are going to say that it was stolen, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. What about the blood on the front seat? What blood? Don't play dumb with me, mate. I... N Whose blood is it? Was it Melanie's? No, I... It's... Uh, rabbits. Rabbits? Huh? What are you talking about? I went for a drive and I shot some rabbits. Oh, you've got a firearm. You got a licence for this? No, no, I, I mean I trapped some rabbits. You, so you trapped some rabbits? How, how do you explain the blood? When I trapped them, I put them on the seat, and that's when I noticed the blood. Why was your car parked down by the river? Well, there was a lot of blood, and I want to sell my car soon. So I, I went down the river and I tried to wash the blood off the, off the well, seat. Well, why don't you take the car home? Wash it there. I don't know. The river just seemed to be... Oh, the that's a place crock, mate. It. That's a crock. That was I... Melanie's blood. Melanie is no. missing, Archie. Now, if you know anything at all, and I mean anything, you should tell us now. I don't want you to have to go to jail. But that's a very real possibility unless you tell us what you know. The poor guy is petrified. Will you listen to the story it told us? I shot the rabbits. No, wait. I trapped the rabbits. Give me a break. Look, we all know he's not that smart. That's not a crime. Even stupid people can do terrible things when they're pushed to. Joe, he doesn't understand what he's saying. If you just give him a chance. You want to make him the CI? Then you're going to have to harden that soft little heart of yours, Joe. Constable, I know you're upset about your friend, but we're trying to find information about a missing girl. Archie could be the link to that. Yes, but we are looking in the wrong direction, right. Sarge. What? Archie isn't guilty. Why don't you reserve that opinion until after the interview? Forensics. The test result will be back from the blood found in Archie's car. Oh, I suppose it's rabbit blood. Rabbit blood? No, no, no. It's just as interesting, though. It's human blood, but with traces of amniotic fluid and fetal matter. Melanie's had a miscarriage. Well, at least this proves Archie didn't kill her. Better let PJ know about this. Hang on, we don't even know where she is, Joe. Until Archie tells us the truth, we won't know. Uh, ben, can you do me a favour and ring around to the family planning clinic? See if Melanie made an appointment at any Sure thing. Where are you going? G'day. What do you want? It's a quiet little chat, you and me. What about? You're 17, right? Got your whole life in front of you. You don't need all this hassle. Not your fault some girl's got the hots for you. But you didn't even encourage her, did you? No way. Millie was pretty persistent, wasn't she? Caught you in a weak moment after a few drinks. You ended up having sex with her. Right? Then she told you she was pregnant. You must have freaked. So you denied everything. Understandable. Then she ended up in hospital. It's your turn. So what did you do then? Your story. Panicked. Afraid you'd be stuck with Melanie for the rest of your life? Then luckily for you, she left the hospital and ran into your good friend, Archie Waters. Not me. I think you borrowed Archie's car. Why would I do that? Well, you're only trying to help. So you offered to drive her where? Then something terrible happened. I wasn't gonna... What is she doing here? Raving on. You know what they're like. Vince. She's finished her story now, haven't you? Come on. I should have pushed him harder if his stupid girlfriend had turned up. did your best, John. Yeah, it wasn't good enough, though, was it? I was this far away from... Perhaps we should get him in. You can have another go in. Any luck with those phone calls, Ben? No, uh, no, expecting a few calls back, but did promise to be quick. Do you mind, Betty? Yes, yeah, sure, mate. How'd you go? Oh, you can't budge him. He's sticking to his story. Oh, no, his story's all over the shop. No, we finally got him to admit to taking Melanie back to his place. 
She must have been there after we arrived. What, and went out the back? We swear she never saw her again. Does he understand how serious this is? That she could die from blood loss if she doesn't get medical attention soon? I gave him the gospel according to Dr. Mel. Look, can I talk to him? Well, so you can believe everything he says. No, I know he's lying, but I think I know why. Oh, please. I've got nothing to lose. How's it going, Archie? It's all right, mate. Everything's going to be okay. You know why? Because I know what really happened. Just been talking to Vince. Yeah. So I know you lent him the car. No. I was in the car on my own. Detective Hashem showed you the forensic report. We know Melanie was in the car. No. I was on my own and I left it by the river. Which side of the crossing? What? East or west? You must know if you left it there. Um, west? Wrong. I meant east. I, I meant east. Archie, why are you trying to protect Vince? I'm not. You think he's your best friend, don't you? He is. How do you think we found out about the car? Vince told us. He dobbed you in, Archie. He dobbed you in for something you had nothing to do with. Is that what a friend would do? He wouldn't. He did. He's using you, Archie. Using you for alcohol. Place to hang out. And now he's using you to take the blame for him. <sighs> How about I call Detective Hashim in and you can tell him exactly what did happen? Here, I'm sorry, Vince. Get out of my face. Hey, easy there, Tiger. Why are you saying sorry, Archie? He's the one who should apologise. Vince is in trouble because of me. Just sign here, thanks, mate. You've been messing us around, haven't you, son? I don't know what you mean. Vince, we know Archie arranged for you to meet with Melanie. We know he lent you the car. Archie told you that? He did. You know, Archie, you'd say anything. Archie's your friend, and he was willing to get himself in serious trouble to protect you. We now believe he's telling us the truth. So you met up with Melanie, and she finally agreed to have a termination. You can't prove that. We found an appointment in her name at a clinic in Ballarat. She never turned up. I didn't hurt her. So where is she? I don't know. She started to miscarry in the car, didn't she? She, she was bleeding. I stopped the car. I offered to take her to the hospital. She wanted to get out. So you just left her by the side of the road? She insisted. I mean, she said she was going to be OK. This happened yesterday and you didn't tell us. If anything happens to that girl, I will hold you fully responsible. Where did you leave her? Nothing. You? No, no, it's been around here for ages. Where's the place where Vince dropped her? A couple of k's in that direction. Right, let's go. Mount Thomas 309 to Mount Thomas Station. We're about two and a half k's southeast of the previous. We're at the old ruins of the uh, Ballarat Road. Still no sign of the girl. Received that 309. Stuart and Sergeant Gallagher recovering the road. Received. She's got to be here somewhere. This is the only place she knew. Yeah, well, we made it over that fence back there. The amount of blood she's lost, I doubt she'd make it over. Jack, over here. Melanie. Melanie. Alive. Now, Thomas, three zero eight to Melanie. It's okay. Everything's going to be alright. Leave me alone, please. Just let me die. You got plenty to live for, Melanie. 
It's all right. You've got plenty to live for. We're going to take care of you now. We're here. It's going to be all right. You'll probably be charged with false report. And you could be charged with conduct endangering life. That's if Melanie Harper pulls through. Are you happy with the treatment you've received here today? Yes. Good. A sign here. You're free to go. Thank you. Just one more thing. I hope you're proud of yourself. I didn't know that... What, that the girl was pregnant? Or that she was miscarrying? Or that you were leaving her in the middle of nowhere? I thought that... You certainly knew that you were driving the car, not Archie Waters. Yet you were happy to let him take the blame. I didn't think it was that serious. I only wish the law reflected just how serious it is. You're a coward, a liar and a bully, Brennan. Ooh. Get out of my sight. I guess I'll see you around, Joe. Thanks for everything. Vince is waiting for me outside. Archie, you can't just forgive Vince for making you lie for him. He's my friend. No, he's, he's not. He just pretends to be. Are you going to hang out with me? Come over to my place and do all that sort of stuff? No, no, I'm not. Then he's all I've got. And that's better than nothing. See you, Joe. See ya. He's just asked me for his holiday pay, his severance pay, a reference and a leaving certificate. Oh, sounds like Vince got into his ear again. Uh, How much did you owe him? Oh, well, after the price of the bottles, not a lot. And you know what he had the hide to do then? Mm. What? He wanted to buy booze with it. I mean, for God's sake, I could have lost my licence. Well, there'll be no more waifs or strays from there, I promise. Oh, yeah. Famous last words. <laughs> Joe. Oh, he hasn't learned a thing, has he? He's still spending all his money on that mob of blood-sucking freeloaders. You have to let people make their own choices, Joe. Whether you think it's right or not. Do you guys want a beer? Jacko? Joe? Right. Yeah, sure. 